The scariest thing about your van project is cutting a hole this big into the top of your new beautiful van. But today we're gonna to show you how to save all those fears, exactly the right tools you're gonna to need and make this an easy, simple project. Welcome to Flippin' Vans. We're a van conversion company here in Denver. We're a bunch of friends here to help share pro tips, funny content, and be a one-stop shop for everything you need to live your best van life. What's up guys, I'm Palmer. I work at Flippin' Vans here in Denver, Colorado, and we're gonna show you the project of putting in the fan. It is a scary project, and I'll tell you this, on the first fan that I ever built, this was honestly probably the most fearful project, the scariest thing I ever did. Cutting a hole this big out of the top of your van, it's when it really feels serious. With the right tools, with the right know-how, this is actually a super simple project. So the things you're gonna need for this project, big deal, jigsaw. Getting a nice, high-powered, wireless, Milwaukee, gotta go Milwaukee, jigsaw is gonna be the way to do it with a nice metal bit. It's gonna be either medium or thick metal, will just get you right through the roof and it makes it cut like butter. So this is a big, big tool, really super helpful. The other thing you're gonna need is a drill. Drill with also a nice set of cobalt bits. These are the hard metal bits that, again, Milwaukee makes some great ones. This is gonna get you through your roof with ease and you're also gonna need an impact driver for installing uh, the fan itself. So the fan that we're gonna be using is uh, this really nice Max fan. This one, uh, we definitely prefer. It's got the most power. They set it up in a way where it's actually the simplest to install. The one thing that is worth considering is it has this big hangover lip off the back. So every fan is cut the same at a 14 by 14 inch hole that goes into the roof and the way it connects. But this one does have a big kind of flange that hangs over the back. So it does take up more space on your roof. So uh, the other ones, that, honestly, some of the other brands out there, Height Crew or some other ones that make some 14 by 14 inch RV fans, but then they're just a square on the top. They're worth considering. They're really good products as well, but they take up less space on the actual roof of the van. I'm gonna show you where we put this one and it actually kind of stays out of the way. And we're also only gonna install one on this Chevy Express that we're working on. And everything's gonna be linked in the description as well for that. To seal up that hole, you're gonna to wanna to get some butyl tape. That's B-U-T-Y-L, butyl tape. Um, I'm gonna link that, we got that from Amazon also. And then we also just use this Flex Shot, which I swear by this stuff, it seals up all the holes and it's really easy to use. We are also gonna use some things to make this a little bit easier of a job when we measure out that 14 by 14 inch square. You always gotta have a tape measure with you, of course. And then using one of these little L's here is great. Um, and then the other thing that we have, as we've done a lot of the vans here, is one of these bad boys that we made. Daddy Dean made this guy for us. This is a template 14 by 14 inch template that actually we've made them different. So the Chevys and the Fords have different roof gutter kind of ribs on the top. And we've made this one so it sits perfectly in that. So it squares itself up and then you just draw that hole and then you can cut right into that. So this is something, if you're just doing one van, it might not be worth it, but getting a good L is great. And if you're ever gonna do more than one van, it's awesome to have this 14 by 14 inch square. So thanks for that, Dean. Also, especially when you're cutting metal, I'm not gonna say don't wear them when you're not doing wood, but especially when you're cutting or drilling anything metal ever, make sure you have safety glasses, metal shards, are nothing to mess with. So without any further ado, let's get going on this bad boy. Well, we are inside of this 2016 Chevy Express that we're building for a customer actually out of Ohio. The first thought is, and the only, this is the first thing we've done in this van. So getting the fan done quickly is, is key because then you can kind of frame and build around it. We're gonna put it in this back section here. Um, you can kind of pick a section between ribs or you can cut through the ribs as well, but I think picking a spot first that's not inside the ribs is great. We're gonna do it so it's as close to this rib as it can be without touching that. So I'm actually gonna from the inside because you can't see these ribs on the outside. I'm gonna come and mark a, a spot that's just probably an inch away from, from this rib. And then I'm just gonna give myself a pilot hole so that when I go onto the roof, I know where I want the front of the fan to be. So this is gonna be the first thing we do. And again, these metal shards falling are no fun. I probably should have sleeves on, but definitely have glasses. And that doesn't even necessarily have to be centered because I'm actually just going for the front to back on this. Once we get to the roof, we'll do the centered and we'll make it the 14 square. So that's all we're gonna do on the inside to get up to the roof. 
All right, well, we're up on the van. You see this hole, um, kind of what I was saying is that rib's going about right here, but you can't see those up here. So this line, uh, this mark, sorry, is actually just gonna give us our front to back span. So then we're gonna kind of come back here, get our template, or if you're just using the square, you know, you have the square that's 14, but our template sits right in these ridges. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna draw a 14 by 14 inch square and I like to use an expo marker on this just because if it's in the wrong spot if you mess up at all instead of a sharpie um, this will just wipe off and now that we have our square we're just going to kind of make sure it's pretty even along the sides looks good and then we'll get um, a nice big metal bit this one's going to be big enough that the jigsaw blade can go into that and I'm just going to hit these corners here so So now that all those guys are down in there, we can get going with the jigsaw. Now, again, make sure you have a metal bit there. What you're gonna do is just kind of run it on this edge. And I will let you know, these fans have a little bit of grace on the outside. So it's better to go on the outside of these um, lines and then the fan fits rather than having to come up and like sand the edges to make the fan wedge in there. Um, and they have big enough flanges that they'll cover what you need. So now we're just gonna get the saw and just run it nicely along this line. Make sure you got those glasses on. Again, this is this is the part where it starts flinging metal up at you. And then we're just gonna run this and just keeping this jigsaw nice and down on it, pulling full power and then going nice and slow across the roof should give us no issues. And one of the reasons that you wanna do this before you build the inside is so that you don't get metal shards and shavings all over a nice floor or bed or whatever you've already put in there. So having this done first while the inside's empty definitely is a big win for a lot of reasons. When you do this last one, sometimes again, if you have floor or whatever in there, you're gonna to wanna to kind of hold this up so that it doesn't fall in. But right now we don't mind if it falls in because we have nothing in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this last one here. And there we go. Just like that, we have a hole cut in the van. This is a scary part to sit here and look at. Uh, there's no going back from here. The other thing that's really nice to have when doing this is a little handheld vacuum. Just getting all those metal shards and stuff out of these grooves is really key, otherwise it'll start rusting. So the nice thing again about these Max fans is that the flange that the fan connects to is actually separate than just the fan. So with some of the other ones, you have to pull it up here, check if the whole thing fits, and then you're mounting the whole fan. This actually screws in first, so we can just make sure it fits. Looks great, fits in there nice. Um, again, there's a little bit of leeway there, that's fine. We wanna make sure to remember, right Connor, that the screw holes for the fan go on the sides. Then the fan we can put in and it'll be front to back nicely. So that, now that that guy fits, um, we're gonna get a, go on ahead and butyl tape around this ridge. Butyl tape is basically kind of like a caulk or a sealant, but it, it holds some dimension. Um, so the nice thing with that, especially on these vans, is that in these grooves right here, they actually sit lower than up on these ridges. So what we can do is we'll double wrap that area and then just kind of build up the area that's lower so that it all sits nice and flush. So we'll put a few layers of this stuff in. You can pack this stuff down in there, make it all sit flush there, go around the outside, and then we'll flex shot around that outside once we already get the fan in. Cool, so now that we have our butyl tape built up here, um, we're gonna put this little trim piece on. Um, it's gonna sit in there nicely, kind of get that squared up. And then uh, on this metal, you definitely wanna pilot hole all these, and then we'll just pilot drill all these holes with the little ones so that we can then put our screws in to hold this in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and flex seal all the way around, and we're also gonna flex seal on the screws uh, so that no water can get down into those uh, cracks. Well, all the flex shot is on, so the last thing to do is put the fan on. Here she goes. Well, now that the fan is totally installed, the last thing is this inner flange piece. So basically what this is gonna be is once you get your ceiling boards up there and your insulation, everything else in, 
this will just sync up right around the outside or the inside of the fan rather and just give it a nice clean look from the inside. They give you this piece, it's nice, um, I think it's like six inches right here. You can trim that down to whatever height you need. So depending on how thick your roof is with the walls and with the insulation, you might have to trim it down. We normally end up having to cut about half of it off uh, to get it to fit. And then it'll give you a really clean look on your fan from the inside as well. And that is all you need. If you have any questions, please reach out. Feel free to ask. Find all the links to everything down in the description and good luck cutting your fan into your new van. Well, now that we've taught you how to put in a fan, if you found any value and you're now a fan of us, please like, follow, share, subscribe, and also let us know in the comments what video you wanna see how-tos on next.